Now we begin tonight saying goodbye to the five people who lost their lives in Thursday's mass shooting at the Capitol Gazette newspaper in Annapolis. We begin with Robert Hyacin, a man known as Big Rob. There were tears, but this was truly a celebration of life. And our Stephanie Ramirez was there. We need to go get candy. He was your childhood buddy. We invented new games, a game called Whiplash, a bizarre board game that required only two number two pencils. He was your inspiration. I know that I'm destined to be a father because he was such a fantastic role model for me. He was your brother. He stole my locked diary. You may have read it too. I don't know, Paul. Monday night, the Capital Gazette journalist killed last Thursday was brought back to life in a going home ceremony that honored Rob Hyacinth's memory in every way possible, starting with the location, the Irvine Nature Center. Friends called Hyacinth a Florida boy who loved the outdoors and warm weather. Supporters spilled out of the tent in this heat to honor his love for words, family, and laughter. He brought humor not to deflect from the situation, but because he genuinely hated seeing the people he loves hurting. Despite the pain, Rob Heisen's wife said towards the end of tonight's ceremony, she is the luckiest woman in the world. He would tell me, don't be afraid just to sit and be quiet. I'm gonna try to be quiet and I'm gonna try to hold him here. That's not gonna take any effort. In Owings Mills, Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. Quite a special man. We also want to pass along details about the other Capital Gazette employees and services honoring them. First, Rebecca Smith, a receiving of friends will be held at the Ruta Duck uh, Funeral Home in Dundalk, Maryland, this Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. and then at 6 p.m. And a funeral service will be held there for her at 7 and now Wendy Winters, her celebration of life will take place Saturday from noon to 3 p.m. at the Maryland Hall for the Creative Arts in Annapolis. A reception will follow from 3 to 5 p.m. at the United Universalist Church of Annapolis.